Okay, it's winter and it gets dark really, really quick, so apologies for the lighting. Anyway, hmm. hi guys. Okay, so I feel like I haven't done a video in a very long time, and that's not true because I did one like four days ago, but it just wasn't a talking video. It was just like my feet walking around, looking all flying. So, um, uh, what am I doing? Okay, so today's video is actually going to be a tag because I love doing tag videos, as you all know, and. When I do come across one, I take the chance to do it because I just really enjoy doing them. And I know I haven't done like a hijab tutorial in a long time, etc. And those kind of helpful things in a while. But it's just because I don't like just doing a tutorial for the sake of it. Because I like this tutorial. I'll only do a tutorial if I've actually changed my scarf style slightly. Oh look, you can see me filming myself in my glasses. Yeah. Anyway, so I'll only do a tutorial if I've actually come up with something. And I genuinely like it. Do you know what I mean? Because loads of there's loads of like tutorials out there and they're really like ugly. So anyway, allow the ugly henna hands. And I do realise that my scarf really needs ironing. But I was like in the middle of getting ready. And I'm actually gonna change my outfit because it's too cold outside, so I'm actually just gonna wear a coat. So anyway, I'm gonna do um, the ethnicity tag, which um, Pearl Daisy Aminakin did a few days ago. And I watched it and it was really entertaining. So I thought I would do one for myself. So I just write in the questions and I just get in them up now. I also have an accent tag to do. But I'm gonna wait till I go back to Cardiff so I can film that with my brother because I think that will be more fun with two people. And I also still wanna do a things I suck at tag, which is a, a tag sent to me by another YouTuber called Chelsea Hijabi Love, I think, something like that. And anyway, she's starting a tag of things I suck at, things I suck at, so I'm gonna do that too one day. And also, I am also gonna do a glasses collection video similar to the one I did for my shoe collection because they're really easy to do and I don't have to talk. And I know sometimes you guys really hate it when I talk because now I've just spoken for two and a half minutes and I haven't even started the video, which is really bad. But anyway, I'm just gonna get straight into it because it's nice and short and sweet. Do you like my dead goat there on the floor? Everybody's like, oh, how can you have like like a goat skin carpet on the floor? That's like really bad and like animal cr cruelty and all that. Ah. But I just figured when we kill goats to eat them anyway, might as well use the skin for other things. Like if you can wear leather on your feet, why can't you have it in a carpet? Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's cruel if you kill like a tiger for its fur because you don't eat tigers. But anyway, let's not start away on that one. Um, gun, gun. Okay, so, ethnicity tag. First question, when was the last time you visited your country? Um, I think I was there last summer, and I go back to, oh, by the way, I'm from Egypt. <laughs> wow, it didn't ask us what country we're from, did it? <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm half Egyptian, half um, English, like half from England, like my mum's English and my dad is Egyptian. So anyway, I go, well, I live in England, and I go back to Egypt like maybe twice a year, if not, then definitely once a year because it's great over there and I have family and stuff like this. Uh, what part are you from and your family? Um, my dad is from Cairo, like Cahira, Cairo, and my mum is from Liverpool, but she doesn't have the accent because she's like, doesn't have the accent, so you know. Name one ethnic food you enjoy the most. Um, hmm. Egyptian food, I really love mashi, if that's Egyptian. And that's like, um, that's like, what is that? I don't know, but you can get like cabbage and inside it, and inside it is like rice and herbs and stuff and that's called mashi. Or feta, I really like feta, and that's like rice with meat and like tomato sauce and like nuts. Oh, and then like bread and stuff. I don't know. Go to Egyptian person house and eat. Oh, and I really like. Um, well, I used to really love molokhia, which is like a greeny, like really slimy, bogey-like kind of dish. But I don't like it anymore. But it used to be my favorite meal ever in the world. But actually, I don't like it anymore. But actually, I really enjoy curry, even though that's not Egyptian. I really love curry. But a lot of people think I'm Pakistani anyway, so what's the difference? So I'm like Egyptian Pakistani. I'm joking, I'm just Egyptian. Anyway, shut up, Daddy. Name one household item. Name one household item that represents your culture. Hmm. A tarbouche. They're those funny little red hats with the tassels. 
Um, I don't have one here because I put it somewhere and I can't find it. But actually, a tarbouche or... You know all those dresses and blazers I made out of Ramadan fabric? That's like traditional Egyptian pattern, I guess. I don't know what else. But tarbouche! I guess you'll see a tarbouche soon because I'm going to use it for a few photo shoots. Because tarbouches are cool and bring the uh, culture back in the picture anyway. Okay, last question. This is a nice short sweet video, just, just how I like it. Last question, do you speak your language? Um, yes, I do. Um, if you guys watched my um, outfit of the day video in Arabic that I did like a few months ago when I was in Egypt with my brothers actually then you can hear me speaking in Arabic but like it's Egyptian Arabic so it's like kind of slangy and also um, I don't speak it that well I sound like a complete foreigner so um, I'll just say hi my name is Dina hi <laughs> and it is Medina which means my name's Dina what else Oh, it was really funny because the other day I bought my friend a Diet Pepsi and then I was like, oh, it's Yehudi, which means it's Israeli or like Jewish. But let's not get into that conversation, that's a bad move. Okay, but anyway, some of my pronunciation is really, really funny and people just laugh, like my cousins laugh at me a lot. So let me know if you'd like me to maybe do a video all in Arabic, even though I've already done one, but they're usually entertaining. But anyway, that's all of those questions. So. Hope that's clarified the fact that I'm not Pakistani. I am Egyptian. Well, half Egyptian, half English. So that's where, that's why I look how I look. And that's the end of that story. So till the next video, which will be glasses collection, because that's always fun and I have so many glasses to show you. Um, next time, keep it covered. Peace. I'm gonna go and iron the scarf now. Okay.